he goes and gives us that D-sharp six. And as if that wasn't enough, then he's like, oh, wait, I'm going to slide right into the E. Come on, man. You're playing with our emotions. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Liza Quinn. I'm excited to have you here. This is the channel where we check out some of our favorite artists in an attempt to sort of analyze and appreciate what makes them so fantastic. Today, we are checking out Dimash. Now... I put up a poll to see which version I should start with, and there was some debate, but it looks like the winner was this new version from 2021. Let's go ahead and dive right in. This tone that he's so, so good at requires so much control when you can just... Ah. So I always tell people if you have a hard time figuring out the technique of that, just go with what it feels like to just say it. So at the top of this section, he goes down to this B. Is out of my range, I can't hit that. Which is remarkably beautiful because he started up here about three octaves up and just drops. But what's really interesting is with a lot of male singers, that can get a little throaty for some and it's still beautifully bright and crystal clear. And that's what's just so remarkable. <laughs> So I said this before in the last reaction, it's amazing how many styles he's able to give you in one song. So here he's giving us a little bit more, ooh, a little bit more of that push there and that feels a little bit more pop. The choices that he makes, they seem, at least to me, very tasteful. They layer in a way where you, it's taking you on a journey throughout the song. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking a quick second to grab my mic. I want to talk about mic positioning here because actually uh, when a couple people had reached out to me about watching this version, someone had made mention about the mic positioning and that it wasn't as close as a prior performance. And there are a lot of factors that I just want to take a quick second to point out. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the singer wasn't singing with as much power that day. It depends on what he's listening to. It could be that the day that he pulled away, he was actually a little loud in his in-ear monitor. So maybe he pulled away because he didn't want it to distort in his ear. So there are a lot of factors. So don't let the mic positioning necessarily fool you. I actually think it's quite beautiful that he keeps it right there the whole time and only very subtly backs it off. Because remember, if you back it off too much and too many times, you're, you could create a lot of inconsistencies. You're going to pick up a lot of the room. So it's a little bit tricky, but he's obviously an expert in mic skills. <laughs> to 
classical. He gives it a slightly rounder feel, so he just gave you... And the band is rocking out, like the drummer with the with the program sequence pad and everything, and it's, it's just so fascinating. These little trills that he gives it in there. Pop, R&B, and folkloric, and it's a really nice mix mixture of genres. <laughs> goes and gives us that D-sharp 6, and as if that wasn't enough, then he's like, oh wait, I'm gonna slide right into the E. Come on, man, you're playing with our emotions. Ah. Oh, that's beautiful. Dimash is a complete showman, which is part of the reason, outside of his phenomenal talent, why I think people are so connected with him and just hanging on to every word he sings because he believes every word and he gives you a thousand percent of his emotion. <laughs> Ready to rock out. <laughs> I love this so much. So stunning! Just him with a spotlight and he's on his knees. The way he sort of like almost draws out that last line with his hand just delivers. Very controlled. And you can see the pain in his face and it's just not only visually beautiful, but the fact that someone can be so captivating like that. He's always a testament to a great performer. Whew, it is always a wild ride and I cannot thank you enough for sticking it out with me. Make sure you check out the first Dimash reaction that I did. If you want to check out some other playlists, feel free and I'd love to have you around. I will see you next time.